Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Isaac. And we're back for episode three, which is the final one in Meet Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine. Correct. Yep. So, what have we got to end the series with? So, we're going to be looking at extending Site Engine. How do you extend Site Engine? And we're going to talk about two of the main programs for that. We're going to be talking about um, Extreme Analytics really important. And then we get, we're going to be talking about extreme control, another really important component um, that, that network administrators would find uber useful. And extreme control is NAC, right? Yes, so the, yeah. Net network so access control. Yeah, so control who can get to the network, what they can get, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And then I think we're going to be closing off with where Site Engine sits, right, within the big picture. Exactly, right? Networks are, can be large or can be small, but Site Engine, where does it fit? What, what, what is that piece in the puzzle where it plays a role? That's what we'll finish on. Yeah. And then before, obviously, you guys. Uh, finish the series, I'll be showing you how to get hold of the certification exam where you can get your free uh, yeah, certification with badges. Um, you can share your achievements on yep. LinkedIn. Um, again, like I said, it's all free, so you might as well. Yep. And you've 100%, got a good teacher. 100% <laughs> free for everything. 100% free. So you ready to go? I am. Let's go. Up till now, we've spoken about Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine as this individual product, this network management system, and we've spoken about its capabilities, what it's done, how it adds value to the life of a network administrator. If that was everything it did, it would be worth buying it just for that. But there's a lot more that you can do with Site Engine. Two of the most popular extensions for Site Engine are extreme analytics and extreme access control. We're going to deal with both of those in this episode, but let's have a look at extreme analytics first. Extreme analytics is purchased from extreme as a piece of software, either for VMware or for hypervisor. It extends the functionality within Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine. And from a single screen, it enables granular visibility and analytics into the applications you use, the network from the edge all the way into the data center. It also provides context-based visibility to help better understand users' behavior on the network, identify the level of user engagement, and also to assure business application delivery for optimized quality of experience. So what does that all mean? The power of analytics is not just in understanding how bits and bytes move around your network, but the insight that can be gathered from that. Think about applications that over time, less and less people use, and you pay in license for this. How would you know the uptake, how would you know how people are using these applications? Analytics would be able to track the usage of any particular application on your network. You could easily identify applications that you're paying licenses for and there's very little usage. That is valuable information for you as a network administrator, but most probably even more so for the people in financial information. If you as a network administrator can pass that information on, that is powerful. That is power of analytics. The infinite enterprise means nowadays people work from anywhere and from any device. Analytics is able to give you context-based visibility and identify from one single pane of glass what applications are running on your network, which devices are connected to those applications, as well as its users, their locations, where they are, for a more holistic view of the network. Always valuable information. If you know that a lot of your users work from in the canteen, from your canteen, that is a way to identify that you need to possibly put in more access points, more network technology into that area. How do you offer your users exceptional application experiences? Well, you do it by optimizing these particular applications for great experience and usage, 
by utilizing context-based telemetry. That data allows you the ability to analyze traffic flows within your network. Think of analyzing traffic flows the same way we think about traffic flows in the morning when we're on highways and the byways of our different countries. If you know that a particular highway is really, really busy, you have the ability, if you know this, to use different bypasses, to use different alternatives to get to where you want to go. If I come into Bristol for the first time in my life, I don't know all of those patterns. So I get a bad experience. Understanding traffic flows helps you make correct decisions about how your network should be running instead of how your network is running. When trouble hits, time is of the essence. And no one knows this better than network administrators. Extreme Analytics, however, helps that administrator to get to the root cause of the problem really quickly. And how does that do that? Well, take a look at this screenshot of a analytic screen. You can see different graphs showing you different network metrics. If you're aware of the problem, this would be your first place to come and look. So much data in one window. This window can be customized to show only those applications or only those networking statistics that you need to get to. But all of this is designed to help you as a network administrator get to that root cause as quickly as possible. Network administrators are reaching the point where there's just too much data to manage on their own. Extreme Analytics comes to the rescue and once again reduces the total cost of ownership for managing these systems. In essence, Extreme Control is a tool designed to help a network administrator securely attach devices to their network. One of the most important things, in my opinion, is the fact that Site Engine will work with any third-party NAC, not just Extreme Control. Although we obviously recommend Extreme Control, it's integrated, it's been built that way, and it works best that way. A good example to use would be a user, an employee goes on holidays, they come back to work, they haven't updated the machine, and they try and connect to the network, or they try and connect through an access point to the network. Extreme Control jumps in, intercepts that request, and immediately places them into a guest VLAN where they first have to go and patch their machine. And only after they've done that can they come back and authenticate. And at that point, they are allowed back into the network. That's a great tool. That's provided by Extreme Control. Having visibility to all this data is important. It does give you the ability to troubleshoot faster. It does help you as a network engineer to manage things better. And we could say that if it just had that, that would be great. But the reporting engine is another incredibly valuable tool that shouldn't be ignored because the reporting engine allows you to look at historical data. If you want to see growth, if you want to track growth, if you want to see performance over time, having a powerful reporting engine is a great tool because it gives you visibility into data without you having to dig into log files, obscure locations, all very easy to get there. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at a screenshot of what one of these reports would look like. So let's talk about the benefits of NAC, using NAC with Site Engine. The biggest benefit of Site Engine and Network Access Control is that those two components are completely integrated into one. If you have Extreme Control and you also have Analytics, then you can get to all the data that you need in just one or two clicks. Just by looking at an end system and using one click, you can see what traffic this end system is bringing into the network. That info you get from analytics. With the second click, you can get information about the port, the port errors, and the statistics on the physical interface that end system performed on. Another click shows you who was on that port and if that user was connected using wireless, you can look at the status of the AP, for example. Basically, 
It's a tool that gives a network administrator end-to-end -end visibility in very few clicks. If you as a customer have Aruba ClearPass ACP, potentially we can sync the data from ClearPass to Extreme Control. And then you can get the same ease of data access using a single click. This applies only to Aruba ClearPass, as it's the only NAC that we've done engineering and integration work on to bring into Extreme Control. Other systems would need their own integrations. How does this work in a real world environment? Well, in a real world environment, a network administrator would get a call from the help desk and they would be told something that a user is complaining, such and such a user is complaining that they're having network issues. The network administrator can simply search for that username in extreme control and discover that the user in question is connected to a particular switch. If required, they can just go to the switch on the console, right click on that switch, because you now know which port you can do the troubleshooting on, and then fire away in CLI if they prefer. It's really simple. In general, the customer or help desk agent who calls you will most likely not give you an IP address, and even less likely the MAC address of the end system or the network, the, the, the network name of the computer. It's rare that people know this, this information. What about a hack? What about if you're, you have a, an, an inkling that your system is hacked? How can access control help you in that case? Well, probably using analytics to do the first part of the analysis would be your first step. And then using network access control to continue and to get to a conclusion. Malware might have been installed by a particular user maybe even by mistake. They didn't even know. And once you know who was logged in, you can now know what that person had access to, which resources they had access to, because that would tell you which other resources on your network are compromised. Then you would check which applications were used, what flows were used, and which other computer or which other device was this computer talking to. That's a lot of information but you get an inkling, you get an idea of how network access control can help you as an administrator, can help your business, can resolve issues so much quicker if you have this information at your fingertips. So let's talk once again about the licensing model. For Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine, one pilot license. For Extreme Analytics, one pilot license. For Extreme Access Control, one pilot license. Now let's just expand that a little bit. For analytics, previously you had a tiered system of licenses. Now one license, irrespective of how many devices you use analytics for. On the matter of the extreme control, you need a license for every device under management. So 100 devices, 100 pilot licenses. So let's conclude this part by me bringing up this diagram and comparing Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine to this cloud. The cloud overarching all over covering the entire network, end to end infinite enterprise. Thank you for watching. I'll now hand over to Claire and she'll tell you more about the exam. Thanks so much Isaac and if you guys just bear with me a few more moments I'll be taking you through how to create yourself a portal account and access the certification exam. So to create yourself an extreme portal account you just need to take yourself to extrememetworks.com. From the right hand side of the page you can then click support portal. Again from the right hand side of this page you'll see a login or sign up button. So click that which will take you to login or sign up. If you need to sign up complete the registration details and you should receive a confirmation email back relatively shortly. And that's it. Once you've created yourself a portal account, you can use these credentials to access the community from the website, documentation, and also the dojo, which is where you get to the exam.